Yeah, I'm wearing this. I know, this is old cam. And this is not a screen <clears throat> shake. Today we're going to be bringing you the history, behind some of, uh, the history behind some of the popular Christmas music. Yeah, we're doing, um, we're doing three songs at a time because it's actually, we're doing all 20, I think 21 songs involved in a, in a, in a Christmas special is going to be being seen later this year. We, since they're public domain, we can actually use the music that they're going to be using. So, but um, we're going to tell people that the songs that we explained yesterday in the three we did that um, because the song is in public domain doesn't mean the arrangement that goes with the song is in public domain. Because we saw one of them that had a 1982 arrangement on it, mm -hmm. and you do that one, basically you get it removed from YouTube. Mm -hmm. But uh, <clears throat> we're going to do deck. Let's see, we deck the halls. Our deck the hall, which was the original title, is the traditional Yuletide Christmas, the New York's Carol. Actually, everything we've done before wasn't actually a Christmas song. Um, they were they were Thanksgiving songs or this, celebrations. This is more of a Christmas time song versus a Christmas song. Yeah. So, um, yeah, basically, like people think, I can go da 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 da. It's not a Christmas song. Sleigh ride is not a Christmas song. It was wrote basically. Um, uh, it, it had to do with being needed for a television show where they had a sleigh. So the guy wrote a song called oh. da, 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 you know, which anyway, they had, so that, I remember when it was done. It was done on the Today Show. That's, oh, that's what, which was really that's pretty for uh, recently. Uh, done fifty years ago. No, but compared to some of these other ones, that <clears throat> but it wasn't ago? really meant for Christmas, and basically people utilize it for Christmas, and it was never a Christmas song. Where this song is actually of the things that we've done so far. This is the first song actually meant for Christmas. Oh. The last song we did, which was um, um, basically the uh, was written it came after, upon the midnight came upon midnight clear. clear was not written for Christmas. It was written after Christmas for a, mm -hmm. it was done as a, a hymnal for a church. And then they basically put it to they put it to music to make it a Christmas song. But uh, uh, basically, the melody is Welsh, dating back to the 60s. You notice that most of these things definitely are New they're England. Old. They're New England or English. Yes. It dates back to the century, uh, 16th century. Belongs to a winter carol, Nos Galen. Nos Galen, as they will say. In the 18th century, Mozart used the melody for a violin and piano duet. I can see him doing it with the violin. It does make sense, doesn't it? So, um, uh, the lyrics were thought to have been American and original, dating back from Origin? <laughs> I know. I'm, okay, I've been drinking. <laughs> like, I actually, he uses it to help coat his throat. I have to. I've got a problem with my throat and I don't. I use it to basically settle down the, um, you know, you, you gargle with alcohol, which is funny. And don't laugh because it works. I've been doing it since before she was born. So he gargled with tequila. I, did, that's I why could have I, given you mouthwash. I didn't want mouthwash because this is you know, really good. So it's supposed to be singing, oh, I can't do that. Instead, we want to do, See, that's, that's what alcohol does. That's what to alcohol. his throat. It clears my throat. <clears throat> it's still not perfect. Um, drink, drink some it, more. It's a Welsh song, and it's a Welsh song with the lyrics, American lyrics, which doesn't seem to make sense. But then again, you have to understand that Anacreon in heaven is Ooh. Anacreon in heaven happens to be. Um, da -da -da -da. British beer song. Oh, a British beer song. Of course, that explains everything. Yeah, but uh, the lyrics, however, the British uh, lyrics appeared in the Welsh melodies, a set of four volumes authored by John Thomas and Welsh words by John Tome, and English words by Thomas Oliphant. Although the the repeated fa la 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 goes la, la, back la, to la, the original la. Welsh nos Galen, and it originate from medieval ballads. I was sort of a you understand it. A lot of this stuff really goes back. We've done the history of Christmas before, and some of this stuff really goes back to the pagan times before Christmas was Christmas. A lot of most of what you celebrate as Christmas 
is not what we think of as religious holiday. They were pagan holidays, folks, mm -hmm. which is why we keep trying to explain to people, you can celebrate Christmas and not have it as a religious holiday for... for and some people go, what? Yeah. Okay. Christmas is a Christian holiday, but it existed before. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. It basically, it was a means to go jump people is what it was. I mean, it was another one of the things. But, so a time uh, of celebration. The the uh, basically the version 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 that we're we're talking is a translation of us Gallum Deck the Halls is not a tradition a translation but new words to an old song. Mm -hmm. Here comes what happens when you get into these things is that. Over the years, everything changes, like we said, to fit the nationality of where you're yeah. at and where you're singing. Like a, you know, you sing like, you know, like a song mm -hmm. the dig the hollows, we the hollows in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so you can basically, I do it a, an Englishman. Deck the halls with halls of oh, oh. That's what a little bit of that call my vocal cord does. Mm -hmm. The modern lyrics and melody of Deck the Hall are found in his songbook title. There's a lot of songbooks out there. If you go, actually, we've got one in another room. This one was published, though, in 1866. Yeah. And, uh, yeah when you look, 1866, yeah, that's a hundred and almost 50 years ago. I know. My, actually, my grandmother was on, my grandmother was born in 1862, so. My, really? Yeah. Oh. She was born during the Civil War, so. I'm an old person, folks. But the first known publication of Deck the Halls was in 1877. They're notable for omitting the two bar instrumental flourish from the Welsh original, which became a further. Oh. Uh, Deck the Halls, uh, okay, uh, Don, we now are gay, uh, Pero, I know, and Deck the Hall, we have many old inversions. Basically, it's been, uh, they screwed around with this thing. You know, where, where altered version has deck, has two violins, the viola, and anybody want to figure out that might have been because of Mozart, <gasps> which he did a two violin thing. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the version. Uh, originally, carols were dances, and uh, originally carol actually uh, uh, basically uh, originally carols were dances and not songs. They had no lyrics, which is why you can do. <clears throat> this is why you would do Mozart. Because there were people added music to other, they added lyrics to other people's songs, which was uh, basically the connection with dancing is made explicitly in the English lyrics by the phrase "Follow me and marry measure." Measure is a synonym for dancing. Mm -hmm. So the Welsh melody with English lyrics appeared in the December 18, 87 issue of the Pennsylvania School Journal, and. Uh, uh, and Charles Oliphant arranged a version of the words from Teleran uh, translated by Thomas Oliphant. Oliphant had died and stuff, so forth. We'll go up and we're going to see. Mostly deck, uh, where it is, I'm going to go back. This is a really good one right here, which she can. Which one? Uh, this has became. <clears throat> deck the halls with balls of holly. Fa la 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 la. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. See, I'm not singing during that. I'll sing fa la 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 la. Done we now our gay apparel, troll the ancient Christmas carol. Fa la 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 la. See the blazing you'll be for us. Fa la 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 la. Strike the harp and join the chorus. Fa la 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 la. Follow me in merry measure. While I tell a Christmas treasure. <laughs> fa la 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 la. Fast away the old Christmas year passes. The old year passes. I had my put Christmas in. Fa la 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 la. Hail the new ye lads and lasses. Fa la 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 la. <laughs> Sing we joyous all together, heedless of the wind and the weather. <laughs> okay, when the Christmas special's going on, I will be ringing a bell and will not be singing. She's going He's to. making me sing right now because it's just the two of us and we're. 
talking about the history. Well, no, we got to do it. Uh, see, because see, part of it is you can just laugh because you can say, I can sing a lot better than no, that. No, they're going to show you drinking on air. Well, no, this is my, this is mouth marsh. This is what I'll show you. I need it because the next one. All through the night, you know. I'm, it, I'm not really that familiar with that song, but I've yeah, seen that song yeah. before. Basically, uh, this so, was another English one. Basically, no, but this one's a Welsh folk song. Okay, uh, remember the? Uh, I don't know if they play. I didn't see the new version of Titanic. I really hated it. I was in actually. I was in the uh, the Titanic version with uh, the original. No, not the original. I was in the one with Robert Wagner in it. In you the know, 50s? And, and, you know, 60s? 1952, so, and basically they played, you know, they played the song all through the, da, 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 all through the night. See, my mouth, my gargle really makes my throat better. Now, I may, dar if I dar gargle enough, I might get funny, but don't bet on it, because I can gargle, I can gargle a bottle like that. Okay, it's a Welsh phone song sung to the tune that was first recorded in the Ed Edward Jones musical and portable rights of the Welsh Bards in 1784. The Welsh lyrics were written by John, you know, John, I can't say the word, John Zorro Hughes, and had been translated into several languages, including English, considering Welsh is very, Welsh is like Gaelic. You better have a hard time understanding what Welsh is. Mm -hmm. Well, the earliest English version was by Thomas Oliphant. Again, boy, God, he was a good, basically, he, 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 And that's not like Timothy Oliphant, the actor. Okay, right here's now. what it was, is what Timothy I learned. Tim Oliphant. I learned all through the night. The melody was used by John Day in the Beggar's Opera, which basically I performed in. Mm -hmm. And um, I also worked on an English movie that had, uh, had, had Alec Guinness in it. And uh, basically, they, had a, they were basically going to a singing festival. And uh, they were having basically, they were basically having one hell of a bad time getting to that festival. It was like the thing, the European music thing they did today in a day's era. Back in the 1940s, in the 40s and 50s, they had their own local versions and the local guys. And basically, you would have, uh, basically, guy would be, you know, the big, they had a big baritone and it'd be basically da 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 da. All through the night. He basically, you don't think of me as a singer today. You, 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 you know, a lot of the carry a uh, lot of the doctor movies, but God, the guy can sing. All they do is, uh, oh, he was also in Zulu. If you hear the guy in Zulu singing, the, when they're trying to get, you know, uh, trying to get the people, in, you know, get hit, they basically, the Zulus are singing, and then he starts singing. Uh, all through the night. And then the other people in the band and they say, sing. And Sally Baker says, sing. And they start, you know, I guess I was in Zulu. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah because it was shot. But uh, um, the song is highly popular with traditional Welsh male chorus groups, which is what the guy was as a Welshman. Mm -hmm. And he basically was singing it in Welsh. And I'm, I know, which basically I do not know. My family, my, my family are up so. The song is sometimes considered a Christmas peril as such has been covered by yeah, Olivia Newton John, Michael McDonald, um, Basic West Climbers. The, the, basically, I cannot sing like, uh, Oh, do you want to sing it in Welsh? Yeah. No. Okay. But basically, Because uh, I can't, I don't even know how to pronounce those words. I can't either. <clears throat> basically, it goes oh, in oh, English. The yes. English basically Welsh. It just goes something. English are twinkling stars, they all through the night. This is the way to the realm of glory, all through the night. Dark is a different light that expresses true beauty. The heavenly valley in peace, all through the night. Oh, how cheerful smiles the star, all through the night. To light in early sisters, all through the night. Oh, days it is night. When afflictions come, what to beauty, man in his way 
great day we'll put down our weak light together. Basically, we got many god awful versions. I mean, this thing, if you look at the versions of Rip today. Is that the same song? Or the yeah, song it's the same. <clears throat> basically, we go, Angels watching ever around thee all through the night. In thy slumbers close around thee all through the night. They will offer disarm thee. No forbearing should alarm thee. They will let no peril harm thee all through the night. They, like the movie Zulu, they, if you hear the guy singing it, he's simply singing it in Welsh. Yeah. So, um, no, I did not play one of the natives. I was one of the. I was one of the uh, South Africans. You were South African? Yeah, I, I was a, a, they were Germans, remember? South Africa were Germans, so I got to play a South I African South, soldier. I knew South Africans were British. No, the South Africans, basically, they, they basically, I uh, remember that the, the German basically settled in that area and then they lost mm. the student war. Now uh, this song is something that most people are familiar with, because mm. this is one of those holiday Christmas classics. Oh, I know. It's Away a in a Manger. I know. So, it's a Christmas carol. And once again, it's published in 1885 in Philadelphia and widely used the English speaking world. And Britain is one of the most popular carols. A Gallup poll ranked it second as in Britain as one of the most popular carols. Wow. Yeah. Second. Second. The, uh, and it's first published with two verses in an evangelical Lutheran Sunday school collection, a little children's book for schools and families in 1885, where it simply bore the title Away in a Manger and was set to a tune called St. Kilda, credited to J.E. Clark. For many years, the text was credited to the German Protestant reformer Martin Luther. Is that, that is that different one. than that? Yeah. No, that is Martin Luther. Martin Luther that's was that, Martin Luther King named after Martin Luther? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, Martin because Martin Luther is uh, basically he was a Lutheran and, and basically had a big deal with Protestants and okay. basically Luke Martin Luther King was a Protestant, I think. And research has shown, however, that there, that this is nothing more than a fable, and in the book Dainty Songs for the Lads and Lasses for Use in the Kindergarten, School and Home by James R. Murray. I don't know, but you just jumped away. Hang on. Why was it there? Mm -hmm. I know, this is live, folks. I know, this is how you can tell that it was live. Um, they're, they're right in there. They're based upon there's a, a title, Luther's Cradle Hymn, and the note composed by Martin Luther for his children, and still sung by German mothers to their little ones. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's a good song. Basically, it, um, uh, the f basically, uh, the tune basically is also known as the Cradle Song. It was written by William J. Kirkpatrick uh, for the musical Around the World with Christmas in 1895 and adapts in the melody originally composed in 1837 by Jonathan Spielman for Sweden. Basically, um, the, it, it, what happens is they adapt music. Anybody, um, now this is a long piece, but they, um, we're talking uh, one of the great songs, um, basically the Polish composer Chopin, that's look for the silver lining, let the clouds roll by, and it's also the war song in Chernobyl. Yeah. You know, so they, they take things and they'll, they'll tune them around their own things. But basically, a very popular range in Britain, Sir David Wilcock's version of the carol. This version is often performed in the English choruses. Um, Actually, I don't know this one. You don't know that I, one? I know this one. 
I know a way yeah. you know, still through the heavens they come with yeah. peace and I don't think I have the original version and yes, do we do we see the original version? So Wow. I know. We got a way in a way. Uh, this is the new version. I haven't seen this one for I've never even seen this one. This is the Bob Papa. Uh, I know a way in a manger and we go we go give me a second, I'll get us a this neat thing about the internet. They okay. know, so you know it's live. Because they have the. I thought what happened with them must have. Um, they must have gotten away. Okay, way in, a, way in a manger, Christmas lyrics. Ah, here we go, now I'm in business. I, I know, I have to make certain that I what? keep the music, I have to kill the song, so. Oh, the song? Well, I'm going to do what happened. Well, they do it, they automatically start singing it. Well, yeah, okay, I need that. Here we go. Yeah, that's the version. Yeah, know. this is the version, we know. The other version is the traditional, and this is the one we sing in the United States. The other version is traditional, which I've never seen. But, but, I know, it's like I don't even know where the words are supposed to go with the music. I know, but this one goes, Away in a manger, no crib for his bed. The little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. The cattle are lowing, the poor baby wakes. But little Lord Jesus, no crying he may. I love thee, Lord Jesus, look down from the sky and stay by my cradle till the morning is nigh. Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask thee to stay. Close by me forever and love with me, I pray. Bless all the dear children in thy tender care, and take us to heaven to live with we there. That's the version that we know and understand. So we're gonna get, we're gonna, if we can't figure out what the hell we've got in front of us, we don't sing it. So because um, they tell, they tell, they tell <laughs> to, till next time, this is old Cam. And this is not a spring chick. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For more information, you can go to www.montybubbles.net on the net. Or www.mbnnewsvideoweb.com. Wherever you're watching, to subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And, well, let's see, let's see, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and thank you once again for over 250 million links on the internet and many years.